gentlemen, welcome to the Terminal Animal Show. You're over there. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today is April 14th, 2024. On this show, featuring, I don't know, followed by, I don't know who, that's right ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 18 of the Terminal Animal Show. We have a very special program today because I don't know what I doing yeah that's right no really <laughs> sorry excuse me wish I, had, wish I had a tissue but i don't i don't so i'll just i'll just do that the whole show all right well um yeah so um as you know we have begun the countdown to episode 20 the season finale the series finale the termination of the terminal animal show and um it's a weird thing happened uh i mean this really shouldn't come as much of a surprise but you know this weird thing happened because i was like yeah all right i think i think i'm ready to wrap up the show i think i got i'm gonna do like four more episodes and then it's gonna be the 20th and i'll do a big 20th show and we'll just call it good and it'll be cool um and so I kind of, I really wrestled with that. And then I finally made the decision, you know, a couple episodes ago. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. It's going to be weird, but whatever. And then I went to start doing stuff for this episode. And I was like, Pfft. now that I know that it's like I'm kind of finishing this whole thing up, I feel at a loss for inspiration. And I know you as an audience must be thinking, wow, well, that's exciting. <laughs> but it's true. Like I used to, I used to always be thinking of ideas and coming up with ideas. And I do still think of like ideas, but my brain, my creative brain is drifting in other directions and I'm finding inspiration in other parts of my life um, and other things and projects I want to do, which is really cool. But it also means that when it comes time to film my next Terminal Animal show, I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I haven't even really thought about it. So here we are, episode 18. And let's just house mat, right? House mat. Let's throw that on there. House mat. So what I did is um, virtually zero prep for the show. I'm hoping at least my microphone and everything look okay. Um, but I basically did zero prep for the show. Oh, a bird just went by outside. Oh, okay. So funny thing happened. Um, I was sitting here actually at my computer and I see this weird blue thing fly by. And I was like, hmm, that's different. I mean, not like a blue jay, which we don't have a ton of them over here. But, uh, and I went out and looked and it was somebody's pet parakeet was just living in our backyard. <laughs> he would just hang out on our fence, hang out in the grass. Um, I almost stepped on him once. He was just sitting there. And then when I went to go, I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll pick him up or see what the deal is. And I got really close um, and I could see he had the metal band on his leg and I was like, Okay, so this is somebody's pet, but of course, you know, I tried to get closer to him and he flew away. And he hung out for a couple days, and uh, but now I haven't seen him. We do actually have local parakeets in Texas, um, so they do actually live around here, but I've never seen like, you know, fancy bright colors, whatever food coloring they do to make them all fancy colors. I don't know if they actually come that way or if they just paint them at the Petco or what. But uh, yeah, anyway, he was bright blue and I'm pretty sure they're like a hawk or something came by and was just like, bye-bye. So I named him Willow 
and um, nobody liked that. And then they named him Rita. Her, Rita. I, no judgment. You can be a boy named Rita if you want, or Den I don't know what this bird identified as, but I bet it wasn't identifying as lunch for a hawk, and that's what it was. So anyway, uh, that happened. That was something. And um, also, I did finally finish that application. I mentioned that. Um, and I had a follow-up application, yay, and I finished that. It's all in the mail, so the Social Security Review is in the mail, as I mentioned, um, which is cool. It just is what it is, you know? This house mat thing's in my face. It just is what it is. So I am living life. So my next business idea, which I also talked about in the last show, is, um, is through thrifting. Now, I love thrifting. I love it so much. I spend all of my free time, like while the kids are at appointments or doing things and I have to kill time, immediately, where's the closest Goodwill? Boom, I'm there. Goodwill sucks, by the way, because their prices are ridiculous. But um, I saw a pair of Old Navy pants for $16.99, I think, or something. I'm really starting to wonder if I said this in a show before. A weirdo. Weird. So if I haven't, who cares? All right. So anyway, I saw a pair of Old Navy pants for $16.99 at a thrift shop. And I'm like, I've bought Old Navy pants for less than that at Old Navy. Thank you very much. So uh, Goodwill is pretty cool, but it's harder and harder to get good deals on stuff. But what I call the bins, which is not a disease... Uh, the bins is uh, Goodwill by the pound, okay? So you, I don't know if you've ever done this, but it's pretty awesome. You go in, they got giant big blue bin things, and you just dig through and find whatever treasures. It could be broken glass. It could be little dog poops. It could be broken glass. <laughs> Again, it could be clothes that... Someone's cat has definitely peed on, okay? It could be anything. Um, hold on one sec. Did you? Wait, you go? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll just cut that later. Shoop. Here. There's a little thing. Cut here, Matt. Eh, and I won't. All right. I was just making sure uh, uh, Jet was in the other room. And I thought maybe she was trapped in her room because she didn't want to be on camera. But she wasn't. She made it successfully to the kitchen and is probably eating Lucky Charms right now. Those are my Lucky Charms. Speaking of which, have you ever tried the Lucky Charm Minis? Min mini? Mini? I think they're called minis or micros or small they're small okay so what they do is they take lucky charms and then they shrink it down so it's like tiny little marshmallows but instead of taking those little like basically like unflavored cheerios shaped like stars or whatever the heck the lucky charms are they take those and replace them with sweet little like corn pop things. I'm trying to think of what cereal it reminds me of. But anyway, they're like these sweet little yummy little balls. Sweet little yummy balls. You can quote me on that. And little Lucky Charm marshmallows. And you just stuff your face full of balls and marshmallows. Delicious. Okay? If you haven't tried the mini Lucky Charms, highly recommend it. They also have mini tricks. Think, yeah, tricks and then mini cocoa puffs, maybe? Ooh, I gotta try that. Yep, okay, so the other thing I wanted to mention in the show today, which I don't have, let's see, what do I have here? Do, 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 do a loco. It's not a do a loco. I was just trying to see if I could find like a random image. Oh, no, no, oh gosh, oh, oh. okay. So uh, another thing I wanna mention is, hold on. Hold on, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Stand by. 
Next, I would like to say, happy birthday, Dad! <laughs> See, wasn't that worth it? That was way cooler than spending two hours making a little graphic on my, uh, on my software here. So, happy birthday, Dad. Dad's birthday will be in approximately four days. I'm not sure how old he will be, but I'm guessing it will be older than me. It's a good assumption. I want to say he's 20 three years older than me, I think. So I'm not gonna reveal your age, papa. But uh, anyway, Dad, I hope you have a marvelous birthday in four days. I love you. I'll be giving you a call. And uh, if you don't know my dad, he's a pretty cool dude. Um, he, he worked actually with, uh, he, well, he's done a lot of cool stuff, but one of the things he did was he worked on the EP Bird rocket car. And if you don't know what the E.P. Bird rocket car is, you should look that up. E.P. Bird Diet Coke and Mentos rocket car. Um, we were on David Letterman, which was pretty cool. And he was also in the Richard uh, Cubed movie directed and written by Mike McLon and actually slightly co-written, adapted from something that I wrote. Um, and I think Shakespeare did some of that too. But anyway. Um, and I wanted to mention this because I was talking to somebody the other day and they did not know what I was talking about. Darn it. I don't have anything else. Uh, uh, graphics. Um, uh, uh, um, killer space ferrets from outer space. Now you true hardcore fans, the six people who watch my show every week, already know what killer space ferrets from outer space is. But I realize there are some people out there that don't know what it is because it has been a number of years. I want to say it has been about 16 years or so since, oh, well, let's see. Finn, my son, was like four months old, I think. So, um, or three months old. And when we made it, and it was, he's 17. So it was like 17 years ago, basically. Um, and uh, it features uh, killer space ferrets from outer space, written and directed by Matthew and Jason Tardy. A complete soundtrack by Matthew Tardy, a.k.a. Audio Body, a.k.a. Super Awesome Sauce Man, and starring Jason Tardy, Matthew Tardy, Jackie Tardy, Finley Tardy as a little baby, uh, Madison the cat, um, the ferrets. I can't remember what their names are. I want to say like Lincoln, Blinken, and Nod, or Molly. No, those are Jason's ink. Like, they're ferrets, and they had names. And, oh, and my ex-wife, who was Jamie Tardy at the time, but I don't want to dead name her, so she's now Jamie Masters. So apparently Jamie Tardy doesn't exist anymore, but whatever. Um, but she was in it, and she did a great job. Great job, Jamie. Um, and uh, yeah, we all starred in it, and it was a fantastic movie. So if you haven't checked it out, it is, it is all on YouTube. If you go to the Audio Body YouTube channel, maybe I'll think uh, to put a link. But I highly recommend you check out Killer Space Ferrets from Outer Space. Um, Non-stop action thriller. Comedy. Guns. Spatulas. Ferrets. Um things, explosions, all packed into about 17 minutes. Um, so check that out. Killer Space Ferrets from Outer Space. And once again, happy birthday, Dad. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to just get to a couple watch watching mails really quick, and then we're going to call this a day, because I was talking to my therapist today, and he had a really fun... I was like, dude, I got this thing I got to do today. I got to do my YouTube show. I don't know what to do, and I feel, I feel obligated to do it. And he's like, well, tell me about that. And I told him about it, and he's like, so 
you don't really feel inspired to do this show, but you feel obligated to do this show, and it doesn't really matter because nobody really watches the show, and really you're just leading up to the show being done in 20 episodes. And I said, exactly. And he said, this is what you should do. Say, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 18. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that idea. Um, but I didn't, I didn't do that. And he doesn't sound like that. Because he sounded like that. What am I even doing on my phone? What did I say? I was watching her mail. I was just like, hmm, checking, checking the socials. You know how it is. Oh yeah, did you check? Oh, oh, speaking, yeah. Look. Yeah. I got my new keyboard set up. Super happy, actually, my old keyboard. And look at this, I got this. I think I was talking about Goodwill earlier. And I forgot what I was saying, but I got this at Goodwill at the bins. So you dig through the bins and you just pay by the pound. Actually, this was only $2.99 to give you a discount because it's, it's heavy. This is the real deal, man. Boom box from the 80s or 90s or something. Probably 80s. I haven't looked it up yet, but hopefully I'll sell that. I also got some sort of Spectrum Mograffator machine, which is pretty cool. Um, and... Uh, Oh, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff at my latest thrift. I spent a total of $32, and that even included a signed and numbered print of a really cool painting. $32! And I do plan to hopefully make all that money back, if not uh, make a profit. Oh, this is why I have a list. I realize now, because I cannot keep track of anything I'm doing. Watching her mail. That's what I'm doing. Okay, note to self, if I don't write a show order, I probably won't know what I'm doing. Now it's time for watching the mail. Watching the mail today. So, uh... Let's see, on the watch and mail list, Chris Nylon says, you giggle like a little schoolgirl when you keep us abreast of the current situation or your videos are, or your videos are recessed into the annals of time. <laughs> nice, uh, I like, I'm, I'm glad my giggling like a schoolgirl is entertaining. And Jason Juggle says, licking the cone was hilarious. Chris and I were laughing so hard. So uh, if you haven't, the last episode was pretty funny. Pretty funny. I demonstrated the motorized ice cream cone, which by the way, is still available. I said all those things were for sale. One of the things sold, but it didn't even have to do with this show. <laughs> and uh, it was the uh, soot little cup which was really cool um but all the other stuff is still for sale i got a clock i got a uh the ice cream cone and uh that set of stupid norman rockwell cups which i don't know what heck to do with i wish someone would just buy them because they're just sitting around and i don't want them <sighs> somebody's getting them for a christmas gift that's what's happening all right, and then Jay Gilligan said, oh man, I missed one episode because I was traveling. Then I was like, I can't watch them out of order. And then I couldn't help myself when this new episode popped up and sure enough, turtles are rocks in your mouth or something. Play with fire, gonna get burned. Have to go back now and watch them in the proper order. Anyways, love buy this thing. I'd totally pay you $5 to randomly talk about an item I have for sale on eBay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. And that was the other thing. I said, hey, you email me, pay me five bucks, and I will advertise your eBay product. I'll make some funny little jokes about it, maybe demonstrate if I can somehow. Um, but uh, I got flooded with emails uh, that, no, I didn't. They, nobody, nobody emailed me. <laughs> In my mind, when I first came up with that idea, I was like, holy cow, 
I got the most bestest idea ever. It's gonna save the show. I'm gonna make millions selling stuff on eBay. People advertising their stuff. Do 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 do. I'll it'll make it all worthwhile, and I'll keep doing the show. Well, guess what? No, it didn't work. No, it didn't work. This is what my microphone looks like. Professional. All right. Well, I think that was the best episode ever, and I still managed to do 20 minutes of solid entertainment. That's why you come here, folks. That's why we're here. And that's why The Axe Pit is my sponsor, the best sponsor in the world. Through thick and thin, they've been here with me. Give a big round of applause for The Axe Pit. <laughs> South Portland, Maine, established in 2016. Go see them, located in the Clark's Pond area. If you don't know where they are, go to theaxpit.com and find out what they're all about. Or go to Google and say, navigate to the Axe Pit. Boom. And then you'll be there if you're in Maine. If you're not in Maine, it'll probably take you somewhere else. Some place where the mob kills people or something. All right. So anyway, the Axe Pit, theaxpit.com. Check them out. Enjoy them. Throw axes. Eat pizza. Drink beer. Throw axes. Repeat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I know what you're thinking. Matt, do you have your own idea relative to the axe pit? Since every show I do a little bit about the axe pit, and my answer to that is no. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just kidding. No, really, I don't have a thing for that. But I do want to say thank you very much for watching the Terminal Animals Show episode 18. Just remember folks, I only have time, I only have two more episodes left. I do have some fun ideas. For the finale, I do have some fun ideas for episode number 20. It's going to be a, a whole, uh, planning a whole festival and a parade. Um, and Donald Trump and Joe Biden will both be there uh, to make us all proud of who we are as Americans. And that is all, folks, for episode 18. Thank you for watching my show. I love you. Stay...